My name is Piper and I am in seventh grade and I go to the DC Everest Middle School. Hi, my name is Lauren Bodlewski. I'm 15 and I go to the DC Everest Junior High. Hi, my name is Gavin Peterson. I'm a senior and I'm at the DC Everest Senior High. The first thing that I think of when I hear mental wellness is the physical and mental well-being of a student. When I think of mental wellness, I think of how you feel in your head or in your brain, separated from how you feel physically. The first thing I think of when I hear those words of mental wellness, I think just being in tune with your body and your mind. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Boys and Girls Club really helped connect me with people. I'm in Unified Pals. I'm a Sherpa, which helps new kids around the school. And I am in NJHS. Uh, I'm in a lot of programs and clubs. I'm in three different choirs at the senior high. I'm in the varsity cross country team. Uh, I'm a wrestler as well, and I've done that for several years, and I'll be doing track this year, and I've even done tennis in the past. Being connected helps me feel like I belong. I feel like I'm wanted. You feel awesome. It's important that we take care of our mental health because we all deserve to be ourselves and we all deserve to love who we are. It's important to take care of our mental health because it determines how we feel on a regular basis. I think it's important that we take care of our mental health so we can all just be safe, be smart, and just be with each other. I think mental wellness is important for several things. Um, all of our students need to feel that the environment that they're in, whether it's the middle school, the junior high, or the high school, is supportive, is a place that they can feel comfortable in, and has things that they certainly, that they certainly can feel good about as well. Yeah, I would, I would agree, and I also think mental wellness is the first thing that matters for our kids. Um, if students aren't in the right spot, if they're not coming to us ready to learn, I mean, education is secondary at that point. So uh, it's important that we work with our students in our community and uh, our parents to ensure that our students are one, coming to us uh, in the right state of mind, and if they're not, uh, that we have resources and supports available for them to make sure that they can be. I would echo that the, the ability to show up and learn, you know, comes directly from how students show up to our, our classrooms and what they're ready to receive. I think this year has gotten off to a fantastic start. I think that is highly contributed to the fact that our senior class has done a tremendous job in leading and setting some of those cultural norms here in the building. As a whole, our student body here at the senior high school has been phenomenal here in the year 2022-2023. A lot of gratitude and thankfulness to the students here at the senior high. Hi, my name is Kailani. And my name is Sanjana. And, and we, we are the creators, creators of this video. video. From our mental wellness day during the 2021 to 2022 school year, we will have a new meta movement the health and well-being of our DCM students and staff remains a top priority. We recognize that when students have a sense of belonging, it can help play an important role in their success. Our goal is to help students understand how much they matter to the school community as well as the broader community. We want to end this video with a short message. You matter. 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 You matter.